This is just a demonstration of uh, the modifications I've made to the quantum mechanical keyboard firmware, uh, specifically the branch for Satan's GeekHack 60 with WS2812 LEDs. So by default in the code there is a RGB LED underscore num variable that you assign for how wide, um, how many individual LEDs are in the daisy chain. and um, in light of just having one caps lock LED, a toggle caps lock, I can't do it here because this is remapped to uh, Backspace in Windows Registry. So an on-screen keyboard, you'll see when I turn it on and off, there's a caps lock LED. But I've, I was also looking for one for number lock and one for scroll lock because I actually do use that a lot when you're working with uh, Linux and BSD vir virtual machines. Um, as well, I wanted one on the other side just to match just so I could see what layer I'm in. I don't have any permanent layers. The, I have three modified layers. Uh, one for mouse movement, one for just other function keys, and uh, th this is actually, I'm sorry, this is a number pad layer uh, along quite a few other things. Then this is my main um, momentary tap, uh, is what QMK calls it, um, main function layer. Now you notice comes on instantly, comes on instantly. But if I come up here and tap it, it doesn't come on at all. Unless you hold it, it does. You'll see there's a bit of a delay there. That layer acts as my um, function one, if you will. This is function two, and then this one's almost exclusively just for mouse movements and other keys I couldn't fit elsewhere. If I go to here and I turn on my uh, scroll lock, there's an indicator for that, and number lock. And then, of course, caps lock is red, because if you have caps lock on, you really should be uh, assessing what you're doing. Set it down on a modifier. And this does not, of course, interfere with any of the animations that run. So there I have the rainbow. And then this layer, the mouse layer, is layer three. It has precedence by the higher number. Now, the next thing I got to work on, of course, you have the regular LED backlighting. Um, but if you turn it down, wow, what a disaster! If there are any experts, experts, excuse me, on uh, AVR timing and low level C. Let me know. Please let me know.